hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on this video i really appreciate the support to the new subscribers you're most welcome and to the old subscribers thank you so much for staying so as you've seen on the title of this video we are going to be discussing about business yeah so we'll talk about uh, side hustles that you can start uh, with little capital and you can make them like full-time businesses if you love them you know so without further ado we are going to start with business number one and the business that you are going to start with is being a mobile salonist if you love making people's hair this is a very easy thing to do uh, so you just carry a comb and you go to people's homes and make hair from their home you know and especially if you get clients where you live it will um be cost effective because you will cut cost on transport you just walk to their homes and make someone's hair and if you are fast you can be able to make two or three people in a day that's good money yeah you are paid for your services and you go home uh the best thing to do in this business is to give the best i mean to deliver if you know you don't know a certain hairstyle don't say you know and then you go ahead and do something that is not uh, what the clients wants make sure you do only the styles that you do so that you can be referred to other clients yeah so make sure you deliver a good job right on to the second side hustle or small business that you can easily start uh, is selling thrifted items and selling thrifted items this is like selling a mutumba clothes you can get the clothes from the market and those in Nairobi, you know, the main market here is Gikomba or Toy Market. Make sure you do your research well to know when bells are being opened so that you go there on the right days. When you go there, you select quality clothes and clothes that are, are good, you know. You need to have taste on selecting clothes so that you can get clients. You can select clothes for kids or for adults, yeah. So... When you get these clothes and you go home, make sure you iron the clothes because most of the Mutumba clothes are, are creased, yeah? So iron the clothes, then take good pictures if you're posting online, especially uh, on Facebook or Instagram. People need to see good things so that they can buy from you. Make sure you iron and you take good pictures, then you can post. The other side hustle or a small business that you can easily start is online writing online writing you just need a laptop and a good connection of internet yeah so the platform that you can easily get clients uh, for online writing is upwork you go there and bid on jobs clients post jobs there so when you go there you be able to bid on jobs and if you're successful a client will uh, reach out to you and if you are hired make sure you deliver a good job so that they can be repeat clients yeah another place you can get uh online writing work is fiverr it's another platform for online writing jobs or pro blogger yeah so research on these things and if you don't know how to write and you would want to write you can use google to learn uh, basic writing skills yeah so that you'll be able to deliver a good job so to the other side hustle or small business that you can start is selling smokies and sausages selling smokies and sausages is good where there is traffic of people yeah people are passing there and there are many people uh, and most of the places that i see this business driving is uh, especially on the stage matatu, yeah. so you need to really survey your area or where you want to place the business and see where you can uh, put up this business smokies and eggs you know they go well with kachubari so make sure you have your kachubari so that when people buy you are able to put for them the kachubari you know kenyans and smokies with kachubari and eggs so also another thing with this business make sure you are clean hygiene is important when it comes to food so make sure your place is um, where whatever you're using to sell that thing for putting eggs and uh, smokies is clean. Your place is uh, well maintained. You don't look shaggy. You are putting on an apron. 
you can buy service and maybe cut them into half so that you can be able to um so that you can be able to wrap the sausages or the smokies as you give people be hygienic when it comes to this business so that you can have good customers yeah the next side hustle that we are going to discuss today is uh mali mali business uh this involves uh mostly plastics like uh, basins plastic utensils uh selling of crocs you can also mix uh this business with kids toys you know there's small small stationaries with this business and it's a good business for those who have done it they say it's really nice also make sure you do your research before starting on any business so that you know whether it's uh, good for you or not the next side hustle that you can easily start from home is selling snacks to the offices that are maybe around uh, where you live or even if it's not around somewhere you can easily go yeah so you make snacks from home like guache like um, duma or samosas or mandazis you can get orders then you make lunch then you deliver make sure you are smart you're clean because when it comes to food you need to be clean yeah so make sure you deliver a, a good job on this so that you can get referrals from your clients yeah another side hustle that you can easily start is being an errand person running errands around uh, for people maybe who are, who are busy Maybe you can be situated, uh, let's say, in town somewhere and people and those who need maybe to deliver something, they can send you and you deliver that, yeah? Or even if it's not in town, wherever you are, you make sure you advertise your services so that people can be able to reach to you and you deliver something that they need uh, delivered. You know, the way motorbikes, like those motorbikes people do, you know, those are errands, running errands around for people, those who are busy and they can't maybe make it to go where they want to go. Another business that you can easily start is selling new things. New clothes, new kitchen utensils. These ones go very far. Especially if you get clients, you'll be able to make this business a worthwhile. A good place to get um, new, uh, new utensils is Kamukunji again. Yeah, You can go there and select utensils that you want to sell advertise to the customers either on social media or or word of mouth or tell your neighbors or tell them what you're selling and you'll be able to get customers yeah so you can start with little money for clothes you can go to Sli and get new clothes where you'll be able to get a variety of clothes or shoes and you sell yeah especially kids clothes or ladies clothes i see them going uh, so fast sometimes so it's something you can explore and see if it works for you another business that personally i've tried is selling undergarments like you can go to Lee and get um inner wares uh, that you can sell to people either for kids or adults uh, make sure that you also take good pictures and post on social media and also tell people that you're selling in hours don't be shy and this is something you can go carrying around in your hard bag they're not bulky you know and you just deliver when someone orders you deliver to them yeah so i've also done a video on that in this channel make sure you look for that video and watch it you'll get so much information in that video on selling undergarments Another business that is close to being an errand person is being a personal shopper. A personal shopper is whereby uh, someone sends you to buy stuff for them. Yeah, like you can get, you can go buy groceries in the in the market and you deliver to that person. Um, you can also do a whole shopping for that person and deliver to them. Then they will pay you. Another business that you can also start is a manicure and pedicure business. In this business, all you need is the nail polish and the, the tools for manicure and pedicure. You know, those who know this business, how it works, you know the things that are used. 
so you just uh, advertise your services again and tell your friends that you do this door-to-door uh, -door in the people's homes you go there and do manicure and do pedicure then you do the nail polish you polish their nails and you're paid for that service hmm? that is an easy one you can even do many clients in a day and you're able to make some good cash yeah I hope you're learning something today. On to the next side hustle that you can learn and do is being a virtual assistant. Being a virtual assistant is working um, remotely or online. It's almost the same as um, writing, but now this one you do the admin work, you know. Uh, it's just like when you're in the physical office, the way you can do administrative work, uh, bookkeeping and other stuff. Uh, being a virtual assistant is just uh, doing uh, administrative work remotely, yeah? In this uh, kind of work, you're not in the office, you're not in the physical office where the work is happening. You do it remotely, online, yeah? So that's why it's called virtual. You can also do data entry, you know? Those are kind of duties that you can do as a virtual assistant. Another business uh, that you can start if you love beautiful places, beautifying uh, homes or even your home, uh, interior design. You can also do consultation on interior design um, where you go to people's homes, you look at their homes, how they're structured, you advise someone on the colors that will match with their homes, uh, the kind of seats, uh, the carpets, and if you're able and they need to send you you can go and uh, purchase those items and come and do it and come and do the installation for them yeah so you can work on people's homes get projects and get into interior design you know you can learn this online again online has so much information that anyone can learn yeah so if you don't know more about interior design and you're interested we can also we always google get information go to youtube and learn and see how you can go about it and all these businesses you always need to do your own research and see what suits you and what you would like to do make sure you research and know what you really want to pursue another business that you can start uh, is daycare maybe a place where you stay there are many parents with kids and they are going to work or someone needs to go somewhere and you are at home and you have a big space and also you love children you can offer to uh, watch over their children in your house as they go then uh, they pay you some money at the end of the day yeah or the hours that you will be staying the child so if you really love kids and you have a space where you can now uh, really take care of kids uh, this is a service that you can offer you know and someone will be able to go and attend to other things when you're watching over their kids then they'll come and pay for that service instead of just sitting at home and you have a space and you love kids you can do that the last uh, business idea that we are going to discuss today is cleaning services so there are people who love cleaning and making uh, places look clean and organized uh, you can look for people mostly offices or people who wants their homes and offices organized you go clean and organize everything you know maybe clothes uh in the office you organize the files and everything and you clean the spaces yeah so you can do this business and you can also start a company time on cleaning services and you offer professional cleaning services so the the goal for every business that we are discussing in this uh, video is to deliver quality be honest in your dealings and make sure that you you deliver what you say you will deliver okay make sure that you can be trusted all right that is the main thing in the business so we have come to the end of this video i hope you have learned something let me know in the comment section if you have gotten an idea that you can go ahead and start a business yeah i'll be glad to hear that so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye.